Ooh, I better say something really intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I first started out, you know, there was there were a few trainings to watch, and um, I am lucky enough to be connected here in Whitefish with Angie Winter, and she's really kind of held my hand through like. Amanda, you just did some stuff for CCL. You need to go log it, you know, right. like give our, we need to make sure our chapter gets credit for doing what we're doing. So, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Like um, I am also part of the Twitter campaign. So, um, and I may or may not right now, it's one woman who's running our entire Twitter CCL yeah. Montana. Um, and I'll be, potentially splitting that up with three between three of us um I guess some of my tweets got noticed <laughs> yeah I I appreciate your tweets that you do yeah. a great job it's funny because I feel on Twitter it's a place where I can be more candid about my political beliefs like I don't talk about that stuff anywhere else <laughs> and I feel like it's such a non I mean I really only try to talk about nonpartisan issues anyway I'm right. like how could people disagree with this right. um so yeah, my experience has been great. I've participated in one, you know, in-person event um, with Angie. Um, of course, part of this, and I feel like right now, uh, you know, especially Mary and y'all are doing a great job of sort of communicating. This week we're focusing on the weather, you know, weather patterns. And like, for me, like what I typically do in just, you know, in general, in life, in work is people give me bulleted lists and I'm really good at, I can write, you know, 500 words on that bulleted list. Like that's what I actually do for a living. So, you know, I think you guys probably noticed the two times that bulleted lists were sent out, Amanda was like, I got this one, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks for doing that. Yep. For me to come out with like, yeah, I think Robin did the drafts, right? Thank you, Robin. Those were, I mean, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> for me to come up though with an idea about the weather, like right out of my head, out of nothing right now is like, I think just creatively, I don't have the mental capacity for that, but I'll get there. But that's the beauty of a team, right? Yeah. That you yes. don't have to do the whole, you don't have to, you know, push the rock up the whole mountain by yourself. Exactly. So, so yeah. yeah, kudos. And thank you for sort of mentoring me in how to do this, ladies, because it's been great. That's fantastic. I guess I was asking because I, I don't know if we, what we were planning is I was going to do a quick walk through the, the uh, CCL website. So, Anybody that was brand new could look and see where they can find those basic training resources for, you know, um, using social media, using the letters to the editor. But I don't think we need to do that because obviously everybody here is pretty well versed in all of that. So <laughs> we can well, I that. I think we it might be worth it for the recording. Oh, that's oh. you want to just drop it drop <laughs> on through your plan and then um, yeah people can watch it later. And what all of you. That's a great I, idea. I did have a couple people ask me if it was going to be recorded. So. Okay. Robin says go. <laughs> All right. We're going to do it. Um, and, and so please, my understanding is pretty basic. So um, if you all, after I've kind of gone through my most basic iteration, you can say, oh, and you can go here or go there, you know, make sure that you chime in since we're doing this for recordings purposes. Um, okay. First, I'll just share my screen. Consider this a training run, Mike. <laughs> Okay, great. Can you all see uh, when I'm clicking on take action here? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So um, for people that are brand new, this is the CCL site. Um, this is what it looks like on the homepage. You have right here a whole across the top here, all these different categories. Um, and the quickest thing I have found to, to do is to click on take action, or you can just hover your um, cursor over take action and then move it down here to the center column and click on CCL community. And that will open up a new page. Um, and you'll see at where my cursor is here, it'll come up with your dashboard and then resources and training tools, connect events. There's a ton of information right there to explore. So, um, but for today's purposes, if you're just wanting to kind of get the basics on, um, working with media, let's just say, click on resources and training. And then I would come down to the center column here, all training topics, just like the easiest, quickest way I have found. And I'm, again, please 
tell me differently, other people on here, <laughs> all uh, training topics. Then it brings you, what it does is it opens up this nice, um, this nice series of options for you, lobbying, Congress, media relations. These are the five levers of creating political will. It brings up right here. And then there's more, I guess, this communications policy and science. Um, but I, let's just for today, we'll click on media relations just in case anybody's interested. And you can just use this as an example. Um, you click on media relations and you've got getting started with writing for the media, Get, getting started and writing for the media as a training, um, working with media outlets as a training. And um, to Amanda's point, social media for media relations. If you're interested on the social media side, there's a training for that. So let's just say someone's interested in getting started and writing um, for the media. Um, you've got seven, seven steps to jumpstart your CCL media work, writing effective letters to the editor. Um, you can write opinion columns or op-eds, so to speak, and, and it, you can have a training on each one of those. So if we were to click on, say, um, writing effective leaders, effective letters to the editor, then it pulls up the training. And this is cool too, because if you look right across the top here, um, you can just read down through, you can watch a video, you can listen. So I know sometimes that really busy people when they're doing something else, they wanna listen to the training, they kind of take in it a little bit. Um, and then you can go back if, if you've listened to it and you wanna refresh something or check on something, um, you can just click on read, but it opens up automatically to reading the training and it has all of these questions. Why write letters to the editor? Um, and then how to understand, understanding the news hierarchy if you're wanting to learn that. There's a formula here that's coming up, the letter to the editor formula, um, the do's and don'ts of writing a letter to the editor and the letter, and it goes on. So it just runs through um, the whole training, but you could go to, you know, any one of these different trainings that are available um, and get every, all the information that you need. And it's all right there. So kind of backing, backing up, let's just go back out. Let's say we go to, to repeat this, let's go to the homepage again. You've got um, about climate solution. This is, by the way, great information on uh, what a carbon price is about and, and why it's a good idea and things like that. Um, there are, there are blogs that are kind of keeping you updated um, on the latest happenings. And then uh, what we just, just, just did just now was clicking on take action and then coming down to CCL community, just to reiterate this. And it'll bring up across the top here, you can see it'll take you to your dashboard and then you click on resources and training, all training topics. Um, and it always opens up lobbying Congress for some reason, but if you don't want to lobby Congress, you can just close that out and then you can come down to media relations, um, grassroots outreach, there's grass tops engagement. So if you're interested in getting businesses or organizations to endorse carbon pricing, that's something, the place you can go there. Um, you can click on idea here for group development. That would be like chapter development. Um, you can learn more, more about policy and science and so forth. So it's just a ton of information right here under resources and training, and then, um, and then the, the um, training topics by category opens up. Um, yeah, it's what I was just saying. So there's my, my little shtick for the recording. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. That was great, good job. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> okay, any questions, comments? Other um, ideas for making good use of that website? I mean, there's, there's a lot I'm sure I didn't cover. There's a ton I did not cover, so. There it's is so just, much. <laughs> it, takes, it takes time, I think. And I have on occasion just jumped around, you, you know, you just click and click and yeah. eventually you, get a sense of what's there, but there, there's a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna share my screen. Um, and we're gonna go on to the next part, which is uh, 
quick guide to writing letters to the editor. So this is a review for all of us, but why write a letter to the editor? We're primarily writing to the member of Congress, their staff, they pay a lot of attention to local media. Um, and then we're also writing to a wider audience um, to educate and motivate, spread the word. And we're also writing to the editors at the newspaper. So this is a basic formula for LTE success. And this applies also to guest opinion pieces. So you don't always have to reference something in the newspaper, but it's a great place to start. Transition to how that story relates, relates to climate change. Name the problem, pivot to the solution, make a call to action. And then if you can, you close the circle back to the, uh, the opening. So this is not necessarily a great example, but it's an example of an LTE. And I'd like to hear the different parts. So let's start off with uh, the reference. Just shout it out, the reference to the newspaper. Sunday's August 8th guest opinion piece. Yes. There you go. The pivot to climate change. the extreme drought, pasture losses, all of those water shortages. Yep, yep. That's all still referencing, you know, data from the press, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I'm not seeing climate change mentioned until the third paragraph. Right, so the, and that, that's a good point, Robin, that it doesn't have to follow, necessarily follow that order. Um, so this, this article is referencing two different hooks and talking about the problem. And then it comes right, that uh, pivot to climate change comes in the, the third paragraph. Um, okay, and then the solution. Also the um, third paragraph, yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> and the call to action. Yeah, the, the go to Citizens Climate Lobby, right? That's the last thing I see, yeah. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And what is this letter missing? Um. I, I would I would say, and I just learned. I don't know if this is part of the formula, but I've learned this from some people, um, including the names of our senators, our congressionals, because they're you wanted to catch their attention, and they're looking, they're searching for their names. That's maybe a little bit more specific than what you're looking for. Good. Yep. Okay. Some helpful tips. Um, can anyone comment on that first tip? Be respectful and conversational what your experience with that has been, has that been challenging or have you grown into that? Yeah, I don't wanna be seen as, oh, am I muted? No, I'm not. Oh. I don't wanna be seen as someone who's confrontational or, or, you know, oh, here she goes again with her issues and whatnot. So, right. yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the attractive pieces for me for being involved with CCL is because, um, you know, I just want to stick to the facts and things that we can all agree on. So that's why I'm here. Okay, great. I think I have a tendency to, to I can get into lecture mode. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where it comes from. It's all, it's all family stuff, but um, yeah, I, that's been the biggest challenge for me. And it's been a great kind of self-awareness to not, get my writing into uh, lecture mode, just, yeah. 
So I appreciate that. It's more effective this way. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy to get pissed off about these issues. Right? Oh my so, god! Yeah. Like for me, like I'm a yoga teacher, so I think I I also like think about the body and how the body works like a lot. And one of the things that I see people doing, especially since COVID started, is people are just like in their heads a lot. Yeah. And I feel like like being part of CCL is an opportunity to just actually take that energy and put it into the body and actually flow through it and let that anger just you know release your anger luke you know it's like just <laughs> you know don't let it take over but you know it's a concrete way to manage yeah. your anxieties to actually move move it through i think that's a great point amanda and i for myself when i get motivated when i get a charge of energy to respond to something it's often that charges an anger charge yeah and um so I have to work through that anger and, and CCL has been very helpful with this, you know, mandate to be respectful. And then also I can get into lecture mode and be very abstract. So the idea of getting into my body and grounding myself and thinking what's going on here in Montana or in Missoula that how can I relate to, you know, people's experience um yeah so how about I'm any of these like a, maybe we could do like an online training with you where you could like get everybody in <laughs> yoga together and you know do that you know mary were you the one who wrote the piece about the coal box and growing up and you oh. who wrote that, that was book? robin that was robin, robin. i would mean, seriously just want to like spotlight that robin for her genius with that because that was awesome. it was like Thank so you. personal and so touching, but it was like moving us into the future. Yeah, I, I, love, I did want to mention love that. Thank you. I heard, I mean, Catherine Hayhoe says to make it relate personally. Yeah. So telling a story helps, apparently. That was the one that was most, has been most liked that I've written. Oh, it's I get away from lecture mode. <laughs> Perfect. Love and that. I, yeah. I told Robin this. I was inspired by that mm. story of hers to uh, the next piece that I wrote. I talked about the houses that we've bought, my husband and I, over the course of our marriage and weighing pros and cons. But but Robin inspired me to start with that story. Now, Mary, that was, that was a good one, too. I remember that, that one. That was, started a whole movement. They're memorable. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so any other comments on any of these tips? I don't necessarily want to read through them out loud, but any, I, any comments? I would only add that um, being inspirational and optimistic, you, you almost, it's just interesting. And I'm sure Amanda can speak to this too with your work. You know, you, you have to make a, a choice to, as to how you're going to see things. And it's a practice. It doesn't come easy and we are kind of wired to sort of go into a negative space and look at the threats and look at the downside and kind of take on a scarcity mentality. So this is a practice and I think it's a it's a wellness practice that goes way beyond talking about carbon pricing, you know. <laughs> it's just that I, I really appreciate that. It's been really helpful. Hated, Mike. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I'd like to tag on to that, Mike, and say that in having a practice, it helps to have a mentor. And CCL provides some good mentors. Um, one in particular comes to mind, Catherine Hayhoe, uh, who I try to watch her videos on a regular basis to get inspired and hold on to optimism. Have, have you all heard the, there's a Climate One podcast that they just, they featured Catherine Hayhoe maybe about three weeks ago. Did you all hear that? I could share the link for it. Oh, I love that. I'm yeah. There's also, <laughs> I, she had a, she had a book review last night oh. for CCL. Oh. So try to get that recording. Okay. It, it was fabulous. Where would we find that Robin? I'll look for it and send it out to the team. And if you send, if you find it in a resources section on the CCL site, maybe like include where you found it on the CCL site. Okay. I will. Great. It was sponsored by the book study action team. So it may be under their action team. 
Yes, oh. it is. Yeah. Okay, this is a part that I can forget about. Um, so follow-ups to your success. If you get published, what is the first thing that you do? And it's not on this page. Yes, it is, sorry. <laughs> what is the first thing you do? The third bullet there. The third bullet, log your success in the CCL Action Tracker. Gosh, in I fact, we encourage people that. to, if you, submit a letter to enter that into the action tracker. And then you can go back and add when it was published. Okay. So uh, that's, that's the number one step. Um, leverage your success on social media. Um, you can send your LTE to your MOC, to your member of Congress and you can write a thank you to the editor if you are so inclined. And, and again, let's share, do people do that? Have you done that before? I have not oh, been right to this <laughs> Writing a thank you? Yeah. Um, I've slacked off on that, but I really should do it. Um, I think it's important. It starts to build that relationship with the paper. Correct, yeah. I have not done it, but it's an intention to, to do it next time. Yeah, I think it's also like a great way, like if you're putting stuff up on social media, um, that's a great way to recruit more people to the cause. Mm -hmm. Like for example, cause you know, I have friends, family, um, you know, clients, you know, yoga students, like people that, that, that follow, that watch what I do. And if I put up, you know, I wrote this piece for the Flathead Beacon or, you know, whatever the Flathead, is it called the Flathead Beacon? I don't care. Um, you know, whatever, if, if they see what I'm doing, oh my gosh, how can I get involved? It's going to just bring more people in, um, potentially more members. Also, just to, to, I love that. And also, if you tag the publisher in your social media, um, like I recently um, put out a social media on an op-ed that was in the Glendive Ranger Review and they were the, and I tagged the Glendive Ranger Review on Facebook and they were the first ones to like it. Yeah. And they'll maybe so that's another way to say thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for the, uh, slideshow, but I would like to um, do one more screen share here. And this is um, our uh, print media writing group, Google Drive. So it's under Montana CCL. And you'll see all the different um, folders here. And if we go to print media writing group, this is a work in progress um, in terms of how to best organize it. Right now we have edit help requested. If you're working on an article, you can drop it in here or even better start it in here. You go to new, Google Docs, create and share. And then you have your uh, Google Doc there and you can share it and and let people know that you're looking for help. Um, a list of Montana newspapers. These are articles uh, that need a response. Um, letters to the editor by author. And um, there's some information for volunteers in here. So any questions on any of that? Okay, well, thank you. I'm gonna stop the recording. Actually, let me ask a question on that. Um, how would a new member, when the, somebody joins CCL, how would they know that, that the Montana, Montana CCL Google Drive exists and that they should, that's where a lot of more you know, local information is? 
has Can to come answer from that? the group leader or whoever's in. Yeah, we do not have a good method for that right now. I, I guess it could go out with uh, welcome letters, but people I don't always think, well, it depends how, what kind of welcome letters sent out, but if it's like too wordy, uh, it might get lost. I tell people to save it, but not that they do. So um, yeah, we don't, it, what do you guys do? Uh, I can mention for our chapter, I, uh, on our weekly, our, I mean, our monthly meetings, we have a link to our agenda. And if they aren't able to access that, then that means I need to add them to Montana CCL. You have your chapter okay. stuff on Montana CCL? Yeah, uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. It's under Flathead Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. We need another way to get uh, Montana CCLers. Hmm. It could be in our chapter things, but I, I don't, our people don't go to the, our chapter thing too often. So, Kristen, I don't, I don't, I don't I... say it's a good, Kristen, I think it's a really good point when you're saying like you're onboarding somebody. Um, and, you know, for me, that was just like a month or two ago. Um, I appreciated it being almost on like a need to know basis. Like at first it's just like, okay, here's CCL. Here's what you need to do to get started. You know, here's points of contact and whatnot. But then once I joined the, um, the writing team, that's when I got access to the Google drive. Cause I think if I had gotten that right away, I never personally would have looked at it. It's like, okay, now I need to go into the Google drive because I'm starting to write. And now I need to actually put my documents somewhere. You know, I'm still figuring that out. And I have to say, it's still a little bit confusing um, for me. And I'm like an avid Google Drive person. Um, I don't think that's your fault. I think that's Google Drive's fault because it's, I think, very challenging to organize things in there. But that's my two cents. And just to just to add some complexity to this whole thing, I'm kind of the opposite of Amanda. <laughs> we could, because for me, it's to me, it's whether I think in a way it's I, I like to see the whole picture, and then and then I can kind of like deduce down to see where I fit within that larger picture. So whenever I'm doing something, whereas I and I don't know if this is Amanda or not, but if other people say you know the need to know thing is more like show me the p. I only want to know this piece for now, and once I have that down, then show me the next step, and once I have that down, then you know you broaden out. So it's deductive versus inductive. Yeah, mine is like, what's going to be worth my time? Yeah. Actually, yeah. So I don't want to bite off more than I can chew and try to do it all at once. Right. So yeah, you're, I'm the same as you. Ah, Mike. Okay. I wanted to see CCL as a, as a big picture thing first yeah. before I dove into like the minutia of a Google drive, because I didn't even know if that's where I was going to be spending my time. So gotcha. it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it is somewhat. So some way to describe the big picture without without inundating people with too much information all at once. So good luck with that. Yeah, have fun. It might be, it might be worth just mentioning the Google Drive at every meeting, every chapter meeting, and just maybe doing a really quick tour. And then I think part of the solution here is, and this is a big uh, challenge step, but it's to have a mentor for new members. Yeah. And that's something that I want to work on for my chapter. That's yeah. So and that way, more. that it could be individual, like you know, between the new member and the mentor would would decide when to jump into Google Drive. I would I would be happy to to work with you, Mary, on that. Let's okay because it would force me also to then really get my head around the whole structure so that I can mentor somebody coming on right and that goes directly to the onboarding issue yep. and so thank yep. you mike yeah, you're I'm on sorry. good Let's one okay so i am going to stop recording <laughs>